Hello everyone. In the last chapter, you saw how Facebook Ad Manager is created and how you can create a Facebook Business Manager. And you also understood the difference between the two. Now that we, we've understood how to create these two things, let's start from the basic and understand what all is required for running a Facebook campaign. So the first thing which is required for running a campaign is of course a Facebook profile, right? Without profile, you can't create a page and without a page, you cannot create a ad campaign. So first thing you require is a Facebook profile. And then with that Facebook profile, you will create a Facebook page. If you want to run a campaign, whether you want to run a campaign for a business or, or a, if you want to run a create for a business, then you will also need to create a page. If you want to run a campaign for NGO, then you want this. If you want to run a campaign for uh, a person, then also you require a page. So you will certainly require a page. So right now, so we've understood that we need a profile. With that profile, we will create a page. And with that page, we will create a ad manager. Ad manager. Right. And in this ad manager, we will create ads. Ads. So th these are the three basic things which are required for running a Facebook campaign. But we need to keep in mind, see, uh, if you are going to run a campaign for a brand and they don't have a profile, then it will take some time before you run the campaign. So profile should be, so profile cannot be of a business. The really, profile should be of a person. And the person should be more than 16 years of age. It can, in some area, in some countries, it's also 18. And the name, so all the details that you fill in for the profile, such as name, address, mobile number, all this should be real because now mobile, because if the mobile number is false, it will send an OTP and then if the profile will get rejected. So profile should be of a person, that's clear. So when we run, uh, a brand new campaign for a say small brand with, which does not have a profile, we ask them to create profile in the name of some somebody in the company who's who's stable and then whose mobile phone can be reached. And then with that profile, we create a page. Now this page can be of any type. So we, we saw that it can be a business page. Say for instance, you want to run a, uh, you want to make a page for a say D2C brand. It has it's so for instance, I used to run a brand called E Naturals. So I'll create a business page or or you can call it a brand page. Similarly, if you want to, if it's a NGO or a, say political party, then you can create the page for them. It can also be for person if you want if they want a personal branding. So personal branding is also very famous these days. A lot of people do it and uh, they want to run trade ads to get more traffic in a you know small time which is why you run the paid ads because organic if you if you want to build your brand organically it will take a lot of time and you had seen it in the first chapter that uh what's the difference between organic and paid marketing and we and one of the limitations of organic marketing was that uh you cannot run it uh so it takes time to build traffic and it comes gradually. And also in the last few years, Meta has intentionally killed organic reach so that people are forced to pay uh, on paid ads to acquire traffic. So, so, so there's a whole there's different organic strategy altogether. We'll have a different uh, session about it, but this is about paid ads. So, so far we've created a profile with that profile, we've created a page. And I think most of you know how to create a page or profile. It's very simple. Um, so we won't go in detail about that. And with that page, we can go we go to ad manager and create running ads. So we've already seen uh, uh, how to go to ad manager in the previous chapter or previous video, you call it. So you can go to ads, uh, from, your, ads uh, from your page then you can start running ads or sometimes you must have seen um, once you post something on your page you see an option of boost right 
so directly you can boost that page so boosting is also a form of paid ad but as a if you are running it professionally for a brand um, i strictly advise against it because of because you don't have much control so our next chapter will be about boost what's the difference between boost ads uh, and paid ads which are run through ad managers and why you should prefer one over another so we'll we'll talk about it because it's important um, i have seen a lot of time and uh, with a lot of my clients that they insist on any boost ad because that's what they've run in the past. And but when we logically tell them that the, it's better to run campaigns through ad manager, then they understand the logic. And see, sometimes what will happen, you'll get better, a lot of good results on boost too. But it's this, this is an exceptional result. Most of the times you don't get anything. And you know, because targeting is not precise and boost and we'll talk about it. So if you created a page and you are posting on it, you will, uh, you can directly boost that. But if you want to run professionally, then you go to ad manager, you make, uh, you set up a proper ad manager account with everything, with payments and creating audience, and then you start running ads. So um, these are the basic elements required for running Facebook campaigns. Once you have these things sorted, you're, uh, uh, you're good to go. You're going to start a campaign. So let's, uh, so now that we've understood this, let's talk about why um, we should, uh, how to create a professional business page. And I, I can tell you, and I can vouch for it. Running a Facebook, uh, building a professional business page is very important if you want good results through paid ads. If the page looks shady, it doesn't look consistent, it's it's not looking good, then you will see that it impacts the performance of your paid ads too. So now we'll talk a little about the significance of having good professional business page and how to do that. <laughs> 